Hi, Dr. Matthew Weiner from Commerce, Michigan. I'm a bariatric specialist. Um, I perform uh, gastric bypass and sleeve gastrectomy surgery. We also offer non-surgical weight loss uh, options, and, and I work uh, very aggressively with all my patients, whether they're uh, preoperative, postoperative, or not interested in surgery, in, in educating them on what makes a good food choice. I've outlined this all in my book, A Pound of Cure, which is available on Amazon. Today I'm here to talk to you about reading product labels. This is a very common question I see in the office, and I hope this uh, short video lends some clarity to how you can interpret whether or not a food makes a healthy choice. So let's start um, with two product labels, and, and it's a little hard to see these, but I'll kind of go over them quickly for you. So they both have the same amount of calories, relatively. Um, the one here on the left has 161, on the right it has 148 calories. When we look at the calories from fat, very similar, 116 versus 120. So really no difference in the total calorie content of these two foods, um, and, and no difference in the ratio of the calories from fat versus the calories from other sources. And when we look at total fat, we've got 14 grams versus 13 grams, again, really no difference. The carbohydrate, we've got 6 grams here on the left. We've got two grams here on the right. You might say, well, the one on the right is lower in carbs, so this is probably a better uh, food choice. Although it does have a little bit higher sugar level, two grams versus only one gram here. Um, and then protein is pretty much the same at six grams. Uh, and when we look at the vitamin contents, there's really not a lot of difference. So you may look at these two nutrition labels and select this one as the healthier choice because it's a little lower in calories, it's a little uh, lower in carbohydrate, and you may think, okay, well, this is slightly better um, than, than the one here on the left and, and, and kind of pat yourself on the back and think you're making a good choice. But if we're going to make good decisions, we cannot look just at the grams of sugar, the grams of fat, these product labels were designed by the food industry, the same one that is profiting off of you believing that a food is healthy and eating it and consuming it liberally, but enjoying the taste that comes from the fact that it's really not healthy at all. So these labels are designed to confuse and trick you. And this is a perfect example. We have two nearly identical labels. But thankfully, there's something else that can tell us the answer. And when we look a little deeper at this, when we look at the ingredient list, which in my opinion is the only part of any food label you should ever look at, the, the difference between these two foods becomes perfectly clear. The left, the one we thought was slightly less healthy when we looked at the grams of fat, when we looked at, at the carbohydrate, is raw almonds, which is a totally healthy food, which you can eat in almost any amount and not gain weight. The one on the right is a hot dog, and when we look at this list of ingredients, it is a bunch of things that really aren't even food. And it becomes perfectly clear that a hot dog is nowhere near as healthy of a food choice as almonds. And, and again, do not look at the grams of sugar, the grams of carbohydrate. And I get these questions in, in my office all the time. Dr. Weiner, you know, I'm following the pound of cure plan, but, but really, how many grams of carbs should I eat? I'm worried I'm eating too, much, too many carbs. And it's because you've just been so indoctrinated into this nutrition as a mathematical science philosophy that even as you're kind of making these healthy food choices and losing weight and feeling better and improving your blood pressure and your diabetes and all your other health problems, you still try to hold on to this fact that nutrition is black and white, that is there is a numerical formula that if you just subscribe to it perfectly, you'll drive weight loss and improve your health. But that's not how it works. It's a qualitative field. And it matters about the food quality you eat, not how much of it you eat, not how many grams of carbs or protein or fat. It's the, the, what's in this food. And if it just contains raw almonds, it's a healthy choice. If it contains whey isolate and, and sodium phosphate and potassium lactate and modified cornstarch and all these other things that aren't food, you can't buy them at the grocery store, you don't even really know what they are, it's not going to be a healthy choice. So some other ways to tell besides the product label, and this is something I'll work with my patients uh, on, is, the, is it made by man or is it made by God test? And if it's made by God, it's a healthy choice. You're going to be okay with it. If it's made by man, it's an unhealthy choice. For instance, an apple. 
who makes an apple? It grows on a tree. Yes, man may plant the seed, but in the end, that apple is being really produced by God. It is a product of nature, a direct product of nature. Let's look at apple juice, which those of you who've, looked, who've read my book and have watched my videos know is almost as bad as Coca-Cola for your weight loss and for your overall health. Apple juice, you got to pick that apple and refine it in a factory and turn it into juice. An apple juice is made by man and it is an unhealthy choice. Doritos, Fritos, low-fat Entenmann's cakes, you name it, they're all made by man where raw almonds, beans, nuts, seeds, fruits, vegetables, these are made by God, these are unprocessed foods and they're going to make good, uh, um, a good uh, uh, health choice. The next question, and an important thing to ask yourself when you're making a food choice in the grocery store or, or at a restaurant is, could this be considered organic junk food? And with all of the attention that's being focused on our food supply, rightfully so, and the push toward organic foods, foods that are made without chemicals, foods that practice more sustainable farming techniques, that this organic label has been kind of propped up and held to a very high esteem where we start to believe that anything that's organic must be healthy. And so the food manufacturers, because they are smart, these are people with PhDs, people with decades of experience, with psychology degrees that understand how you think and understand how you make decisions better than you do, they recognize that an organic label is a very powerful marketing tool. It has two effects. The first is it convinces you that it's healthy so that you buy more of it. And secondly, it allows them to charge a higher price. And we typically, if you see a cheap organic food, you're going to question whether it's actually organic. Rightfully so, again, because the, the, the organic farming techniques are more expensive. But if you're a marketer, you see a real golden opportunity to create organic junk food. These are the soy crisps, the organic uh, Doritos and Cheetos, and quite frankly, they are just a little bit more healthy grown versions of junk food. Are they better choices? Yes, by about two or three percent. But you're not going to be okay eating organic Doritos. And so I strongly encourage you to ask yourself, is, could this be a processed organic junk food? And some key giveaways, in, in the non-organic world we have high fructose corn syrup. In the organic world we have brown rice syrup. In the non-organic world, we have sugar. In the organic world, we have cane juice, which is really nothing more than organic sugar cane that they've extracted to a liquid form that's really just the same as sugar. So they have now developed some equivalent processed organic foods that they add and use in the manufacturing of this organic junk food. And then the last um, uh, uh, question that you can ask yourself is, are there any health claims on the box? Does this product claim to be low-fat, low-carbohydrate, carbo um, no trans fats, uh, no saturated fat, whatever the health claim of the day, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, there's a million health claims out there. Is this product using health claims to promote its sales? And if it is, this is a clear warning sign that this is a bad food choice, that there's something in this food that is heavily processed and that will probably cause weight gain, not weight loss, which is your intention when you select the food. And um, uh, when you go to the produce department and you pick up a bag of celery, does it say low fat on it? It does not. Does it say... Um, uh, promotes weight loss. It does not. It makes no health claims whatsoever because we know that celery is healthy. And in fact, there are no rich celery farmers. There's just some guys working hard to, to grow some vegetables. And the business model for, for making money from celery, from broccoli, from fruits and vegetables is not nearly what it is from making organic junk food or other processed foods. And so they don't have this this extensive marketing team that's working for them to promote the fact that we should be buying their product because it's a good food choice. But it's the best food choice and most of them say, well, of course, everybody knows celery's healthy. Who thinks celery's not healthy? So when you don't see the health claims on the box, either it's something terrible like an Oreo cookie, which is obvious, or more likely it's produce, it's vegetables, it's a lean protein. 
and, and it's going to make a good choice. Thank you very much for your attention. If you want to learn more about how to make a healthy choice, you can check out my book, A Pound of Cure, on Amazon. Um, and you can look at our, web, uh, our Facebook page at A Pound of Cure. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel. We've got lots of more videos about good food choices, about healthy eating, about success after bariatric surgery, about success without surgery at all. Um, or if you're in southeastern Michigan and interested in seeing me for an appointment, you can come to my website at www.drmatthewiner.com. Thank you.